This is Parker Panda Podcast, episode one. Um, today I am alone here. I'm not joined by anyone. But we have Minecraft gameplay in the background of me building my city. So this is my first episode of my podcast. Um, I'm going to have guests from now on. Uh, next episode I might have Swift Flicks uh, from the Swift Flicks animation channel, of course. And that was a joke that only a handful of you will get. Okay, so, oh crap, maybe I should turn the audio off for Minecraft. So, yeah, I'm just going to have this Minecraft gameplay in the background um, while, you know, I talk over it, I guess. Is that? That works, I think. Alright, yeah. And you can either watch it or you don't have to. I have done a lot of work on Los Costa, um, and you'll see that throughout the podcast. I'll go work on different areas, and I am going to make an update video on that soon. Alright, so I'm just going to randomly talk. Um, what should I do for this podcast? Let me adjust my mic a little. Cause I'm, I, I, I don't know, this is a new mic I got, so I'm trying to figure out how the, you know, how, what what's the best place for this to work. Um, and, you know, next podcast, my, my settings just a little bit after I watch the video a couple times and see how good the audio is compared to other places and stuff like that. Um... So yeah, what what should I talk about right now? I don't know. I this whenever I've tried to do podcasts, I always struggle with this. Um, especially if I'm doing it by myself, I never know what to talk about. Like if I'm with the other person, I ask them questions about what they're planning and stuff like that. But right now, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, if you don't know who I am, I'm Parker Panda. I have a YouTube channel called Parker Panda, obviously. Um, and oh yeah, Swiftlix told me to do this. He said. Yesterday when I was, we were in a call yesterday on Discord, also if you have Discord, make sure to add me, uh, just Parker Panda, I don't know what my number is, but you can find it in the channel, or in my links in my channel, my important links. So, yeah, yesterday I was talking to Swift Licks, and he said to shout out my Instagram since I've posted my first thing, finally, after... Like, a month of having Instagram. I finally posted my first thing. It was a picture of me beside my microphone. Of course, Swift is memeing it already. Um, but, yeah, I have th- I posted on Instagram. I'm going to start posting drawings and stuff. I already worked worked on some stuff. And, you know, that's what Instagram is. So I'm going to do stuff on Instagram, so make sure to follow me. Um, at No, they don't do that. Uh, it's just Parker Panda. T- no, it's Parker Jones 1270. No spaces, no caps. Yeah, that's what it is. I got confused. All right. So, let's see. What's been going on? Um, I'm going to New York on Wednesday. Um, This is going to be uploaded on a... What's days? On a Friday. So, Friday. uh, Next Wednesday, I'm going to New York. Um, You know, the Big Apple. So... Maybe I'll get some inspiration for Los Costa, and y'all might think, because I haven't been uploading Los Costa vids, that I haven't been working on it, but no, I have done triple the amount of work since last time on Los Costa. Uh, it's crazy, there's like, let me count, one, two, three, four, f- I think four different cities right now, or four different cities planned, and three of which have already been worked on, especially Los Costa. Um, you know, the most work done on it, but, uh, I'll show y'all those cities later, and I'll make sure to update you. If you're, if you're listening to this in the background, you do not have to watch this video, by the way. This podcast is just to play in the background if you just want to listen to something where you play Fortnite or Minecraft or something, or, yeah, this is just in the background. You can listen to this. You don't have to watch the video, obviously, but if you do want to watch the video, I'll tell you, oh, if you want to look at this on the screen, then you can look now, because, uh, yeah, I'll tell you what I'm basically showing so, okay, um, let me think here, what else, I, I'm, <laughs> see, it's hard to have conversations with yourself, um, conversations are really difficult for people who don't have conversations, conversations much, I don't have conversations much, and if you have a conversation with yourself, it's double as difficult, so, that's why this is hard, um, but I'm going to try. Let's talk about... Let's talk about... Um, oh, Ozark. Ozark. That's a new cool show. Um, season 2 just came out. Um, it's on Netflix. Netflix original. If you haven't seen it yet, it's really good. 
Uh, oh my god, if you haven't seen Breaking Bad, you need to do that now. Um, so yeah, watch Breaking Bad, watch Ozark, it's really cool, it's about money laundering and crap. Uh, it's not about crap, but... Yeah. Okay. What else should I talk about? Oh my gosh. I have nothing. Um... Okay. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> oh, all right. SpongeBob. Some SpongeBob episodes. What? What SpongeBob episodes are your favorite? Leave it down in the comments. Leave what SpongeBob episodes are your favorite. Um. I don't know. I'm trying to think of what SpongeBob episodes are my favorite. I haven't watched SpongeBob in forever, so I don't really remember. But, uh, th dude. Okay, Nick. I, I always watched SpongeBob on Nickelodeon, right? The original, like. Nickelodeon, you know, just like normal Nickelodeon. I've said like, 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 like billions of times. Okay, so I watched it on normal Nickelodeon, which I thought that's where everyone watched it. And then, uh, eventually, like, oh my god, shut up, stop saying like. After five years of watching SpongeBob, I found, I, or I, I was looking through the, I was at my grandma's house, and it was, you know, Nick at Night was on, George Lopez or some crap, um, so, I was, uh, like, oh, I wanna watch Spongebob instead, not George Lopez, who wants to watch George Lopez when you can watch Spongebob, you know? Um, so I was looking, I saw a freaking, what's it called, Nicktoons or something, I'd never heard of that before, um, today. I was like, Nicktoons, what the heck's that? So I looked at Nicktoons, and there were a bunch of weird cartoons and stuff. I never watched them. I, it was like a whole different side of Nickelodeon. I was like, what the heck? And I saw Spongebob, and I was like, oh, Spongebob's coming on next. Let me watch that. Um, and I was watching Spongebob, and I was like, I've seen every episode of Spongebob, right? On Nickelodeon, at least. So I was watching Spongebob, and then this episode came up, and I'm like, this is not Sp what. I've never seen this episode before. I've seen every episode of Spongebob multiple times. But this one, I have never seen before. Why? Apparently they have Nicktoons exclusives. I, I, I don't even know if that's true, but... I've, I saw several episodes of Spongebob that I've never seen in my entire life that were only on Nicktoons. And it's so weird, because I never watched Nicktoons. I only watched the Nickelodeon version. But uh, Nicktoons had their, like freaking own sub-series of Spongebob that has exclusives, um, which is really weird, so when people say, like, stop saying like, my god, uh, when people say, what am I trying to say here, I don't know, but whatever, Nicktoons has exclu- okay, it was- an episode- I don't remember what episode it was, but I remember that I had never seen it before today. Um, and that was the only time that I'd ever seen that episode. I thought it was, like, a bootleg version at first. I didn't even know the definition of bootleg at that age. I was just like, alright, this is not the original Spongebob. But then I was thinking, I'm like, I wasn't like. I was not like, because like is a bad word, because I keep saying that. Make sure to like and subscribe, by the way. Um, so, I was thinking, I'm gonna say other words besides like. Um, I was thinking... This Spongebob must be a non-original version. This has to be the rip-off Spongebob. Oh, I forgot I was going to set a timer. Let me set a timer. Set. Oh, God. Shut up. Set a timer for 50 minutes. Your timer is set for 50 minutes. Yeah, because it's probably been about 10 minutes so far on the podcast. So I want to make this about an hour long. So, yeah, an hour long. That's, that's going to be a while. Um, so, I was, oh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I, I was thinking, this has to be a rip-off version of Spongebob. There's no way this is the real by the creators. Why didn't they put it on Nickelodeon? And then, I remembered, oh, yeah, this is actually the Spongebob voice. So, he actually did record this. This is actually made by the same people of Spongebob. Now, I'm saying actually too much. My God. So... I don't know. I still don't know to this day. If anyone knows why there were episodes on Nicktoons that weren't on Nickelodeon, then let me know. Because if, Tell me if you watch Nicktoons and you understand. I never watched Nicktoons, so maybe I don't understand. Maybe freaking everyone's like, oh yeah, that's, that's the 
epi- that's a Nicktoons exclusive. How, do you not know that? Or something like that, you know? But I don't know because I'd never watched Nicktoons. Didn't they have freaking... What was that? Johnny Phantom or whatever? Wasn't that on Nicktoons? I never watched that, but... That was one of the shows that I never watched. I, I remember what it was about. It was... Maybe that was on Cartoon Network. No, I think it was on Nicktoons. I don't know. Yeah, Nicktoons. I remember something hearing about that, and I'm like... Johnny Phantom? Who names their child Johnny Phantom? But, obviously, that's not his real name. Like, Ben 10? Who names their child... What's Whose last name is 10, you know? But... It's not his real name. Is it? Is his real name Ben 10? It might... I mean, his real name's Ben, but I don't know about Ben 10. That's weird. You know? So... Let me do some counting here. One, two, three, four. Alright, four, and then the fifth block. Alright, sorry, I had to do that. Alright, so... What am I doing here? What am I talking about? Uh, okay, let's talk about more Nickelodeon stuff, because I'm so distracted on the freaking city, I'm just gonna go build a road or something, something that doesn't involve focusing, you know? Because I don't want to f- have to focus, you know. You know. You know. You know. Alright. So, sp- Nickelodeon. Let's talk about Nickelodeon now. Let's More more things on Nickelodeon. What are some shows on Nickelodeon? Uh, of course, there was SpongeBob. There was Fairly Odd Parents. I liked Fairly Odd Parents. That was cool. Um, I always watched that. Uh, let's see. Those are t- honestly the only two shows I watched on Nickelodeon. I watched Cartoon Network a lot. Like, Adventure Time? Dude, Adventure Time, that was my show. I remember freaking a long time ago, I used to watch Adventure Time, and when I figured out that every episode had a snail on it, like, I remember when it used to be on Netflix, I I, I saw the snail on the first, I was re-watching it, and I saw the snail on the first episode, and I'm like, oh, there's the snail, it's hidden. And on the second episode, I saw it, and I'm like, oh, there's another snail on the second episode. Then on the third time, I saw the snail, and I was like, oh my god, what, do they have a snail in every episode? I watched the entire series, and ev- after every episode, if I didn't see the snail, I watched it again. If I didn't see the snail, I watched it again. I kept watching it. Because if you don't know, they hide a snail in every episode of Adventure Time. Every single episode. I had to see the snail every single time. Every single time. Um, I just kept re-watching it if I didn't find the snail, but... I think I found it every time. I don't know, but... Yeah, Adventure Time was pretty awesome. Mm, This is like a freaking show podcast so far. Uh, Alright. Adventure Time. That that was like the main show. Johnny Test. I I remember Johnny Test. That was was a pretty good show. I didn't watch it as much as Adventure Time, but it was pretty good. What was the one? Regular Show. Yes, Regular Show was awesome, dude. It was so cool. I remember regular show, and I was, like, in Minecraft, and I, <laughs> I built, like, a coffee shop. When I used to have 360 Minecraft, oh, that was a long time ago, uh, I made this one world and built a coffee shop, but I, and then I, like, used, I, I was like, okay, I'm gonna build the entire regular show world, and I built, like, the little coffee shop they have that they go to, and then I never... I think I deleted the world after that or something. I was just like, that's too much of a project. So, yeah. Regular show, that was cool. I remember the golf cart. Dude, what was his name? Cart? I think I just called him Cart. Cart. What's up, Cart? How are you doing, Cart? Hey, Cart. How are you doing? What's up? What's up? That's all they said the entire time. I'm kidding. Um, any other shows? What, what are some other shows on Cartoon Network that I used to watch regularly? I mean, there were other... Oh, dude, I remember Destroy, Build, Destroy. That guy, I was like, dude, this guy looks so weird. That what, Whatever is it, the host or whatever. I was like, dude, this guy looks so weird. What, what's with him? And he had, like, long hair. Wasn't he, like, freaking a wrestler or something? Stop saying like. He might have been a wrestler. I don't know. He looked like a wrestler. Or a motorcycle gang member or something. 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 Something in between. But if you know who the Destroy, Build, Destroy guy is, let me know. Because... He looked insane, and I want to pay him to be a special guest on my podcast next episode. I'm kidding, but I will have special guests. So many special guests. It'll, it'll, it'll it's gonna be, it'll, 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 it's gonna be awesome. This will probably be the only 
uh, solo episode I do for a while. I'm probably going to have guests for the next ten episodes. Yes, I have ten total friends. Pretty awesome. Oh, okay, let me talk about the mods that I have on Minecraft. Uh, some people don't really care about Minecraft. Uh, so, you know, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to talk about this for a little bit. Uh, so, obviously, my city, my world, I guess, Palandia, the country of Palandia, where I build several cities. If you don't know what that is, um, it's pretty cool. I have several cities so far. I have, let's see, let's go over the cities real quick. I'll show you all of them today in this podcast if you want to look. I'm pretty close to the... Trailer Town is what I call it, um, and I'll show you that in a second when I get over there. But I'm building the road right beside it. If you're not watching, you don't have to still, but if you do want to, then I'll tell you when I get there. Um, so, the town, all, all the town names and what they're based off of. So right now I have Los Costa, which is my the main city based off Los Angeles, pretty much. Um, you know, it's not an exact replica, but... Or obviously, obviously it's not an exact replica, but there are, there's the Santa Monica Pier, it's not called the Santa Monica Pier in my game, I don't know what to call it yet, but we have that pretty much in the same place. I did awesome, I, I, I don't mean to brag, but I did awesome on the placement of stuff, like it's exactly, like this seed is exactly like Los Angeles, like the coast and everything, it's perfect, but yeah, we have, oh yeah, we have an airport, which is gonna be cool, eventually... Uh, we're gonna have, when, when we have another airport, obviously, we're gonna have that airport have a plane that can teleport you to the other city, so you don't have to fly across the entire map or drive across the entire map, get to that in a second, um, to get to the other cities. You still can, but you can, to get, for like a freaking your character, you know? You know how your character can fly in creative mode, obviously? Um, that takes a long time to get to places, but if I have a teleporter in the airport, then you could just fly down to the airport in whatever city you're in, and then step on a pressure plate, and then it would take you, you'd instantly be in the airport of the other city. Alright, so if you do want to see the city that I've built, Trailer Town, uh, so the second city that I've built in this world that I've started on, then you can look now. Um, yeah, if, if you were just playing in the background or something, so... You, you can watch the video. The only reason I have the video here is so that you get interest, like... So, so if you're not doing something background, you have something to watch. So, yeah, we have this little house here. The uh, concept for this town was a little redneck town. Sandy Shores in GTA Five was my inspiration on this. Redneck town, as you can see, we have a little gas station here. Um, that is an RV for the freaking convenience store part. And they have, like, a little restaurant in the back. Um... And this is a real motorcycle. Yes, it is a real motorcycle. It can actually move. Um, this is an add-on. Since I play on better Edition, there's no mods yet. But we have add-ons, which are... They replace items. So this is like a freaking sheep or something. You know, this is a sheep. But they changed the properties and made it look like a motorcycle and drive like a motorcycle and all that crap. Um, it's really weird, but... Yeah, we have all this, a uh, couple, just a couple of trailer park houses, that's gonna be a little shopping mall thing soon, eventually. Um, this is a graveyard, right here, graveyard, pretty cool, it's gonna get a lot bigger, it's gonna be like, covering all the way up to there, all the way from there, it's gonna be a big graveyard. And then over here we have a prison, that's way down the highway, uh, it's being worked on, but that's where we're gonna send the scum of the earth. Um... Here we have the highway. This leads all the way back into Los Costa. This highway comes down to Trailer Town. We call it Trailer Town because everyone lives in trailer houses, obviously. Um, then here we have a road that leads to the third city that I've, I've been planning. And this third city, is, it's basically... its I don't, I don't have anything for... This is the least developed city so far. All I have is two roads leading to it. One from that highway, and then one from Los Costa. Um, and this is the road leading to it. You can look now if you want to see the planning for the city. It's half mountain. Like, half this place is mountains, and the other half is either flat or on the coast or something. So this is another coast. Um, then this highway goes back to Los Costa, so we can follow that, um, and it ends right by Santa Monica. So, or what we consider Santa Monica. 
So the inspiration for this city that I'm flying over right now, the third one, I don't even have a name for it or anything yet. Um, the fourth one I'll show you in a second, but I've done some work. I, I've done pretty much everything today that I've done on the, the fourth city. All right, so the inspiration for that city, I don't know. I was just flying over here, and I thought, wow, that's a pretty cool area. Maybe I'll build a city there. Um, and it's not going to be a big city. There's probably going to be a small airport that can fly to Los Costa and maybe the other city that I'll talk about in a bit. Um, that's also going to be a big city that's over there, if you see. Alright, you don't have to look at the screen anymore, obviously. I'm not showing you anything. It's not that obvious, but... Uh, then here, this leads back to the, you know, pier and all that. Alright, so... Oh my gosh! I just looking at this reminded me. This is the new Swifties, by the way. If you don't know what Swifties is, it's Swiftflix from the Swiftflix Animation Channel. Um, this is his restaurant Swifties, and look at this. I added this. Uh, you don't have to look, but I added a modern touch on the top of his Swifties. Um, and imagine it without that. Put your hand over the screen right now, over that little amazing modern part. Doesn't that look so much more boring? You know? Oh my gosh, Swift, you suck. I'm kidding. Um, so yeah, here we have his drive through. I, yeah, I'm not going to show off his stuff anymore, but we had a lawsuit the other day, or not a little, really a lawsuit, but it was, it was intense, all right? So, oh, Chewy Burger. Chewy Burger's been, con I don't even know if y'all know what Chewy Burger is. It's Matt Chewy's restaurant. Uh, there's a Chewy Burger. So, as you know, Jay Vendergarm in this city, I don't think y'all knew this, but he does health inspections for restaurants and stuff to make sure they're up to par. This is the original Swifties in the, the hood, if you know what I mean. Um, and, yeah, here's the original Swifties. Um, so Jay was doing health inspections, right? He was doing his manual health inspections. He did one Chewy Burger. It was not up to par. He shut it down until Matt Chewy can fix it. Um, he did one Mexican restaurant, and they fixed it. He was doing health inspections, right? And then Swift was in the call, too. Listen, I can snap now. I've never been able to snap. Listen to this. I'll talk about that more later. All right, so Jay, uh, Jay was doing manual health inspections on a bunch of restaurants in the city, and it was, and Swift had to go in the middle of it. Swift had to go, right? Um, he had to eat dinner or something. So after he left, I was like, Jay... We need to frame Swift for being a drug exporter um, for Swifties. So we both agreed, yeah, we're, we're going to frame Swifty for being a drug drug exporter, his business. And we're going to shut his business down. So, um, you know, just for fun, not for hatred or anything. But, yeah, it was just for fun, all in fun, all in fun. And, uh, let's see. Okay, so this is the court. We have a bunch of like a bunch of lawsuits and all that stuff uh i haven't showed y'all any of this but yeah here's the police station missing a block here oh no that's just a little what animal is this it's a baby wolf dang it's small so it's a puppy i guess um so yeah there's the police station right here there's a police helicopter and police plane uh this is the you know the good looking police helicopter this is the crappy looking one but this one can actually move um, so, yeah, we always do lawsuits and stuff, we try to sue each other, uh, <laughs> a bunch, it's really cool, and when someone gets in trouble, they come here for their court date, and try to prove themselves innocent, here's a laptop here, and I have a lawyer, like, okay, we, we, we have lawyers and stuff, I have a lawyer character, I have a bunch of characters, I don't know if y'all knew this, there's so much stuff that y'all don't know about, but I have a character that's a lawyer, um, and you can hire him to, you know, either clear your name or sue someone or any of that. Or defend you from getting sued. Um, uh, I have a lawyer. Jay has a lawyer that's like a court-appointed lawyer. Like, you know, um, you know the rights. Like, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to the attorney. Uh, you have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, the court will provide one for you. Yeah, he's the court-provided attorney, so he's the one people can't afford. Uh, so, you know, hire him if you can't afford an attorney. Hire me if you can. Uh, and then I think Swift created a lawyer character, but he hasn't used it yet. 
So, uh, we've been doing lawsuits. I've been a lawyer a couple times. I've been a judge a couple times. And this specific time, Jay did health inspection. Or, no, before he did the health inspection, we were like, okay. He, he said, okay, we're going to frame for, for Swifties now. All right, I'm, I'm going to do a health inspection after at, when he gets back. So, we planted drugs in there. And the Swifties, a bunch of drugs, which if you don't know what drugs are in this world, they're Coors Fruit. I've explained this in my LC series, but Coors Fruit basically teleports you in random places near you, and it's pretty cool. So we use that as drugs in the city. Um, and we put boxes with a bunch of drugs in Swifties and uh, put, you know, just put drugs in there. And... I'd act like I didn't know about it, of course. And then when Swift came back, he was working on the new Swifties, and Jay was like, I'm going to do an inspection on the old Swifties, which we planted drugs in. Um, so he went there, and he's like, oh, Swift, I'm disappointed in you. And, oh, I don't even know if I explain this. I, I've been making jokes that Swift is, uh, like, there's been a pending lawsuit, basically. Or not really a lawsuit, but a pending crime. What is this? <laughs> Look at my screen. What is this? What the heck? Hold on. This is... I need to figure this out. What are these? Oh! They're the traffic lights. Okay, from down below. I was like, what the heck is that? Yeah, I changed mods and it's really weird now. Everything is super glitched. Um, so... Yeah, there's been a pending freaking crime or some crap, whatever you call it, uh, that Swifties is a drug dealing business, and I've been making jokes like, Swifty, Swifty, or is it true, are you involved with the drug gang, <laughs> and uh, like, stuff like that, it's really funny, because he, he, he built his business, his first business right out in the hood, where all the drugs go through and stuff, and he hired some questionable people, which will get involved in the lawsuit later, and so... Uh, I've been making jokes, and then finally we framed him. Finally, we put drugs in there, and Jay went in there to do the health inspection. He he already did one originally, but he was doing another one, uh, an up to, you know, update health inspection. I'm showing you the airport in a second, by the way, so if you can go to your screen if you want. Again, you don't have to. I'm, I'm not going to say that anymore. I'm just going to say you can go to your screen from now on. All right, so, yeah, this is the airport. Uh, so... He, he was doing health inspection, you know, after we planted the drugs in there, and he was like, Swift, you have drugs all over the place, even in the toilets. <laughs> and he went over there, and he's like, no, I'm not. No, you, you had to plant them there. And I, I, I was printing, like, a DEA agent. I busted through the door. FBI, open up! And then I was, uh, you know, confiscating all the drugs, obviously. And I, I turned to Swift. He was standing outside Swift. He's like, he had to have me. I turned to Swift, and I said, Swift, Get, leave the area, go be free while you still can. <laughs> and then, it, it was really funny, and then he just walked away and went to Swifties or something, and, I, and uh, I'd confiscated all the drugs, and I said, all right, everyone needs to be at the court now. This is a this is going to be the biggest lawsuit so far. Um, it was crazy. Um, I, I put a zombie villager in Swifties and said, this guy will take over for you in the new Swifties. This guy will take over for you for time being. So we went down to the court, and Jay was going to be the lawyer, um, or no, Jay was going to be the judge, and I said, all right, Swift, do you want me to hire me as your lawyer? And this, it, this saved his life. He said yes. So he hired me as his lawyer, which saved his life because, you know, I'm the best lawyer ever, obviously. Um, but he, honestly, I don't, he, okay, I'll, I'll explain this in a second. But if he wouldn't have hired me as a lawyer, I don't think he would have gotten free i think swifties would have been uh closed down forever he would have gone to jail um he would have had to create a new character that owned swifties or something but yeah he hired me as the lawyer we went to the back room and you know we went to our own call i think matt was there in the call but he wasn't in the game uh we went into the back and we were talking i was i was like swift okay so Let's let's get this straight. You are innocent, correct? And he said, "Yes, I am innocent. I I I'm come 100% innocent. You need to prove to everyone else that I'm innocent." So I was like, "Okay, um, what do you, what are your thoughts on this? Who do you think did it and all that? Why do you think those drugs are there?" Um, and he said he thinks uh that Jay planted them there. So he was kind of right, I guess. 
Uh, he thinks that Jay planted him there. He was like, okay, it was the health inspector. He planted him in there. He planted him in there. And I was like, okay, we can't bring that up in court. Health inspector planted him there. We don't really have any proof that the health inspector planted it there, even though I knew that <laughs> he did plant it there, but we didn't really have any proof. So I was like, okay, you hired Jimmy. Um, and Jimmy, if you don't know who Jimmy is, Jimmy is Matt's character, who is, um, Cletus's, which is another one of my characters, Cletus's cousin, um, and they're both gangsters, you know, Jimmy and Cletus for life, you know, they're cousins, right? Uh, so, I was like, okay, you hired Jimmy, he is a sketchy character, he's a gangster, you know, and you hired him, because Swift hired him a while back to his, to work at Swifties, you know, do some stuff for him, build for him, all that stuff. Uh, he hired Jimmy a while back to work at Swifties with him. So, I said, you hired, you hired that guy, Jimmy. He seemed like a pretty sketchy character, right? Um, you, you gave him a lot of responsibility in that Swifties, particularly, especially when you opened up your second location, right? And he was like, yeah, I did. Um, but I, I don't really know if he would plant those in there. And I was like, okay, well, the judge doesn't know, doesn't know that you know that. We can say that we think that, um, he planted them there. Because uh, we had a lot of proof that he could have planted them there. And, I mean, for one, uh, obviously he didn't because he wasn't even in the world. But, you know, the judge doesn't know that. Because the judge was Jay, but he was acting like a new character. Because he couldn't be one-sided and prove Swifty was guilty. Um, so, I've, I've been rambling on I'll, I'll wrap it up. I'll try to wrap it up. So, we went out there a after a private meeting, and I, I, ba I basically stated, I think Jimmy did this, a su suspicious character, um, I think Jimmy planted those drugs in there, he was selling them, uh, he was selling them out of Swifties to customers who came specifically to buy drugs, you know, people come up to the counter, they're like, alright, uh, I want the Mick, get me ripped or something, you know, they'd say that, and he's like, alright, I got in the back, and then pull out the pull out the drugs and be like, here you go, here's your burger, here's your hot fries, here you go, leave, and then he give the drugs, you know, um, but that's, that's what I was thinking, that we told the judge, basically, that Jimmy was dealing the drugs out of Swifties, because Swift gave him a lot of management power, we could say, like, you know, since he was a long-time employee there, um, whoa, holy crap, okay, that's weird, uh, and... So yeah, we basically stuck with that. We had a lot of evidence. We even brought Cletus, um, who is another... Here, I'll show you his skin real quick if you want to see. Cletus, who is another one of my characters, we brought him as a witness. Um, and he was like, yeah, Jimmy's my cousin. Yeah, um... Uh, y'all know Cletus? Yeah, he was in the episode that I showed y'all. What's it called? Freaking... Where I did the freaking rap at the end. Oh, that was funny. Um, but yeah, Cletus came, we called him as a witness, and he's like, yeah, uh, he was a gangster, um, he was oftenly high at work, and stuff like that, I can't find the Cletus skin, where is it, let me look closer. Cletus. Oh, is this Cletus? Yeah, this is Cletus, I think. Yeah, Cletus, here's Cletus right here, here's what Cletus looks like. Um, and so he was like, yeah, he often, uh, I picked him up outside work one time, he came out high, um, which actually, that was not a lie, because, well, I mean, it was kind of a lie, but, uh, okay, one time, Matt, we, me and Matt were just playing on the world, and he's like, I'm at Swifties, come pick me up, and I was driving the car, because we used to have a different car mod before it broke, um, and I was waiting outside, and I, I was like, alright, come out, and, and then, when he got in, he's like, because he didn't have the mod installed right, so he saw it as a witch, even though we saw it as a car, he was like, we're, so we were right, in his brain, we were riding a witch, so he's like, oh, we're riding a witch right now, and, but, you know, to me, I didn't see it like that, so technically, I guess you could say that he was high, because, you know, he was acting crazy, he was riding a witch as a car, you know, um, so I was like, yeah, he came out high, so, you know, he was doing some mischievous stuff at work, so I'm thinking that he was the culprit, and, yeah, stuff like that. It, it was basically, it was a good lawsuit. Um, Swift was innocent, um, and Jimmy is gonna get blamed for some stuff. And I said, like, you know, he owns Chewy Burger, which is Swifty's biggest competitor, so maybe he wouldn't care about working at Swifty's. He even quit working and disappeared since his Minecraft doesn't work anymore because it doesn't pay for Nintendo Switch Gold or whatever the crap it's called. Um, 
so yeah, Swift got off, innocent, and that is that for the court case. Pretty cool. Um, I rambled on a lot, but let me drink water real quick. Oh, it's almost empty. All right. Um, I'm going to drink. Okay. So, yeah, what else, what else, what else? All right, well, that was good rambling. Uh, let's see, what's the timer on? Um, Jesus, we still have 23 minutes left. Okay. This is gonna be a long 23 minutes. Okay, um, let's stop. Oh yeah, I didn't even finish doing what I was uh, doing. What I was doing talking about freaking Minecraft cities. Jeez. All right. So my fourth city, uh, my fourth city that I've started. Now, if you follow the road that leads to the pier, um, and Los Costa, if you follow the road all the way, I've extended it out way far. You can look at your screen if you want. Uh, I've extended it out way far into a different city, a new city. If y'all, okay, I'll tell the story of Bubba the Dolphin real quick. Bubba the Dolphin, all right? Uh, so there's a lake in Los Costa, a big lake. Um, I'll point it out real quick. It is that right there, that big lake over there. We, fa we Me and Jay were flying around at one time. Uh, we were messing around, you know, going through water and stuff, and we found dolphins. And we were like, holy crap, there's dolphins in this lake that shouldn't exist. So we found a river, and we were like, okay, our goal is to get this dolphin to the ocean. So we started uh, leading him through the river, basically. If you don't know, if you swim, swim in Minecraft, swim fast, the dolphins swim with you. So we got one dolphin. Uh, I was, you know, clearing the path and guiding Jay and all that. Um, Jay was swimming with the dolphin. So, we followed this river all the way, um, and eventually, halfway along the way, we got a name tag, named him Bubba, um, and, you know, that's the, that's how Bubba the Dolphin started. So, we named him Bubba, uh, and we led him all the way. We didn't know that we would get to the ocean. We led him so far, then... Uh, I'm still following the river right now, by the way. That's why it's taking a long time. So this river is called Dolphin Dolphin River or something. I don't know. I forgot what I called it. But Dolphin River, where it it's a project to save dolphins, basically. Take them back to the ocean from the lake. They've probably been there for generations. And, you know, it's such a small space. Dolphins deserve an entire open ocean. So we followed this river, and it led, it led all the way back to a... Bay, basically. Bu Bay. It's called Bubba Bay now. Bubba Bay. <laughs> um, but yeah, Bubba Bay. It led all the way back to Bubba Bay. And uh, we basically released him into the ocean. And he's free now. He goes wherever he wants. We sometimes teleport to him and check up on him and stuff. Um, but this is the city that I'm working on. The fourth city, the newest city. No one else knows about this yet. Only me. Only I know about this. And if you're watching this, then you know about this. Um, but yeah, this this road, this highway leads all the way back to Los Costa. There there will be an airport here, so you can fly here. Then here's an exit right off of it. It's a little freaking... I'll fix it eventually, but... Exit leads right off of it. goes down. Uh, there's a few houses that I've worked on. Then this street uh, leads to... I have like a little marina thing right now with two docks this one's for getting on your boat this one can be for just walking i guess then we have a little marina i, th I think this is a, a marina basically this whole thing is bubba bay Bub bubba bay is ginormous um and bubba's somewhere in here but you know we'll have to teleport to him to find him um and i'm just working on this right now so this is the fourth city I'm basing it off of San Diego loosely. I don't know anything about San Diego. All I know is it's in freaking a desert. So I put the city in a desert, obviously. Uh, I don't know what the city's going to be called. I think it's just probably something with Bubba. There's so much about Bubba in that city because that's where Bubba lives now. And Bubba's awesome, you know. Uh, he's free and he has billions of kids. Bil billions of children. It's billions of childrens. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's the story of Bubba the Dolphin. I've told it before on Los Costa, but I'm telling it again, uh, telling it again, telling it again, telling it again, a, telling it again, telling it again, a. Alright. 
so after that what else should we talk about let's not talk about minecraft anymore because i've talked about minecraft so much uh, all right all right all right all right all right mate all right mate all right all right all righty all righty so this is i I'm, i am australian right now and i'm speaking through a speaker do you hear me now i am something else all right, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So. How about the story of how I met Stephen? How about that? Um, so, yeah, Stephen. Stephen, as you know. It's Stephen from the It's Stephen Animation Channel. That was a joke. Um, we'll do a meme, meme review on the Swiftlix from Swiftlix Animation Channel pretty soon. But, Steven, it's Steven, Steven plays whatever you want to call him. Uh, he is insane. He murdered a cat. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm joking. He did not murder anything. He is not insane. Um, so, way I met Steven. A long, long, long ago in a galaxy far, far away, he had a channel called The Gamer Kid Plays. You know, The Gamer Kid Plays. Um... And you can still find this channel, it's still up, it's pretty cringy, um, <laughs> but you can still find it, it's still possible. It's very easy, actually, to search up the Gamer Kid Plays with underscores, I don't even remember. But it's it's possible to find if you want to watch it, it's pretty funny. Um, so, I was on my YouTube channel, I, I, don't, I don't think I, no, I didn't hit 50, so I haven't even hit 50 subs yet when I, I, when I, when I met Steven. God, I'm stuttering so much. So... I posted a video on my hoverboard. It was just, you know, a crappy vlog of me on my hoverboard. I was like, That's how high my voice was. Um, and I showed my hoverboard. You know, it was a stupid video. And then I, I didn't get many comments. You know, I was a little sad because no one liked me. You know, it was kind of like Swift Licks. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding! Okay, so... Uh, and then I got a comment from the gamer kid plays, and I was like, "Oh, okay, the gamer kid plays." Let's see what he said. Uh, I didn't know who the gamer kid plays was, of course, um, but little did I know it was Steven. Um, so the gamer kid plays. He commented. He said, "Oh, I'm getting a hoverboard for Christmas or something like that." Um, and I was like, "Oh my God, I have a fan." He didn't. He wasn't even a fan, I don't think. But yeah, I was. I was so happy. I was like, "Oh." Dude, I subscribe to your YouTube channel or something stupid like that. <laughs> um, and then I gave him a shout out in my next video. I think I was like, "Oh, subscribe to the Gamer Kid Plays. He's pretty cool. Yeah, he's pretty cool." Um, so yeah, that little did I know that was Stephen. Um, the only other person, the only other friend on YouTube that I knew was Jay. And uh, yeah, I, I knew Noah, but I don't even think many of y'all know Noah. But I knew Jay because obviously he went to my school. Um, so, Steven commented, he said, I, I have the hoverboard, or whatever, so I watched his videos. I was a fan from that point on. I was a fan of Steven, and he had a bigger channel than me, I believe, yeah, he had a bigger channel than me. And on his channel, on the Gamer Kid Plays channel, um, he did, he did Shout Out Sunday, I think. Yeah, Shout Out Sunday, where he gave his fans shout outs, basically. Um, and I, I always love Shout Out Sunday. I was like, oh, this is awesome. Because that's, if you, if you want to grow on YouTube, you should do Shout Outs, like, every day. Because that's, like, all the little kid YouTubers I see that have, like, a thousand subscribers do a bunch of Shout Outs. I don't do Shout Outs that often. If you do want a Shout Out, comment. I'll do a video eventually doing, giving Shout Outs. And if you do want a, sh a Shout Out, just say, I want a Shout Out. And eventually I'll shout you out. But I don't do, like, Shout Outs every week. I don't really care. Um... But, yeah, he did Shout Out Sunday. I was like, oh, I want to shout out, I want to shout out. And one time he did a live stream Shout Out Sunday. I was at my grandma's house, he did a live stream Shout Out Sunday. There were, like, maybe five, ten people watching at most. Um, and I was one of them. I was like, oh, Steven, I want to shout out. Or, I didn't call him Steven. I said, oh, the Gamer Kid Plays, I want to shout out. Uh, you know, we weren't friends. We had never talked before. We had never talked before, just in comments, you know, you know, we comment on each other's videos, said, all right, cool video, that's, that's all we talked, and then he gave me a shout out, you know, he gave me a shout out, he said, all right, everyone go subscribe to Parker Panda, I was Parker Panda Gaming at the time, so everyone go subscribe to Parker Panda Gaming, I was like, oh, so he got me up to 50 subs, thank you, Steven, 
you got me up to 50 subs. Um, and that made me have actually, no, I, I was at 50 subs, then people unsubscribed, and then I didn't have 50 subs anymore, because when, he, I remember when he went onto my channel to do the shout out, he's like, oh, his latest video is a 50 sub special, I want to find that, I want to find that video where he gave me a shout out, his latest video is 50 sub special, alright everyone, uh, he's at 45 subs, let's get him up to 50, <laughs> it was so sad, I was like, oh crap, um, it's, <laughs> it doesn't really make sense anymore. Should I upload a 50 sub special again? Actually, wait. Was my 50 sub special? I don't, I don't remember, but whatever. He gave me a shout out. He got me up to 50 subscribers, either for the first time or the second time. I can't really remember. But, um, then, you know, I was really happy, and he hit 100 subscribers, and I was like, holy crap, this dude's doing awesome. And then, one day after he hit, like, 112 subscribers or something, Never uploaded again. Didn't hear from him for three weeks. Didn't upload. Comments on his videos. Said, where are you, dude? Where are you? Where, where are you, dude? I'm looking forward to seeing your videos. Didn't exist. I thought he died or something. He just straight up quit that channel. Thought I'd never see him again. I was like, oh, well. That was one kid that was pretty cool, but I guess I'm not going to see him again. Um, and if, if I wouldn't have met Steven, I... Wouldn't have known any of my YouTube friends today besides, you know, Jay and Noah. Um, and also, the Gamer Kid plays, he was friends with Frankie. Um, which, obviously, all y'all know, Hot Dog Frankie. Me and him are friends today. Frankie's awesome. Uh, everyone subscribe to Hot Dog Frankie. I think this is YouTube channel. He changes it all the time. Hot Dog Frankie, Hot Dog Frankie Minecraft, something like that. Um, but he's in my friends list. Um, so, yeah, Frankie's still uploaded. I didn't, I, I didn't really talk to Frankie much, I don't think. But, I, I think he knew I existed, I knew he existed, but we didn't really talk. Uh, we were both friends with the Gamer Kid Plays. He was more friends, because they did collabs and stuff, but, you know, <laughs> whatever. <sighs> okay, so, yeah, after that, I thought, Gamer Kid Plays, oh, never seen him again. And then, like, four months later, when I had probably 70 subscribers, let's say, 70 subscribers, I was doing good on my channel, Steven helped me out a lot, got me 5 extra subscribers, thank you, thank you, that's so much, alright, um, <laughs> that was kind of mean, but thank you, actually, because you got me up to 50, and that's, that's good, alright, um, so, yeah, he, uh, then, he, uh, he had a channel called It's Steven, right, but it wasn't the one that y'all know, the one that got deleted, this, uh, this one was, uh, the first It's Steven channel, um, he commented and said, hey, it's the Gamer Kid Plays. I didn't think he talked to me. I don't know what, what made him think to reach out to me. I wasn't really his friend, really. We just, you know, comment on each other's videos occasionally. But he said, hey, it's the Gamer Kid Plays. I was like, dude, he's not dead. He just has another channel. He had three videos on that channel. He didn't upload a single one ever again. So I was like, oh, well, he didn't upload again. Okay. Uh, so then it was a couple more months. He showed me his It's Steven channel and didn't upload on it. Then he made a new It's Steven channel, and then commented, Hey, it's the Gamer Kid Plays on one of my videos. I was like, oh, he's back again. I bet he's just gonna upload three videos, then quit. Um, but no, he was actually uploading consistently, and I was like, alright, I have more subs now. I had like 80 subs or some crap, I don't really remember it all. Um, so I was like, I'm gonna give this guy a shout-out. This is the It's Steven channel with 500 subscribers that got deleted by YouTube for copyright, which sucked. Um, so I gave him a shout-out. And he was really thankful. I got him, like, 10 extra subscribers, so more than he got me. Thanks a lot, Steven. I'm kidding. God. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I got him, like, 10 extra subscribers. Got him from 30 to 40 or whatever it was, something like that. Um, and he was so thankful. He was like, oh, dude, thank you so much. And from that day forward, we were actual friends. Like, he had fans on his videos that were how I was, you know, just comments on his video. They comment on each other's videos. But we were actual friends. And then eventually, I was like, dude, we should talk. So he got Google Hangouts, and we talked on Google Hangouts, because I talked on Google Hangouts with some of my other friends. Um, so me and Steven talked on Google Hangouts, which was cool. Uh, we talked to each other, you know, pretty regularly. Uh, I think we played games like Roblox with each other. Yeah, we, we talked to each other pr pretty regularly. Um, played with Frankie occasionally. And that's how I met Stephen, and from that day forward, after, uh, you know, after I got Discord and all that, we became even better friends, and yeah, so that's how I knew Stephen, the 500 subscriber channel that got deleted. Um, 
Yeah, so now, uh, who did I meet next? I already knew Frankie, but we weren't really friends at the time. Who did I become friends with next, though? I didn't really become... I, I knew about Swift Flakes. Swift Flakes, I remember Stephen was watching his videos or something one time. I don't know, but he told me about Swift Flakes. I was like, oh, that's cool. So I commented on Swift Flakes videos, and me and Swift Flakes, you know, I guess we didn't talk, like, actual face-to-face -face or mouth-word-to-word -word talk, you know? But we knew of each other's existence. So, yeah, that's how I met Swift Flakes, I guess. I met everyone through Steven. I met Frankie, um, and, oh, okay, yes, this is how I met Matt. The story of how I met Matt is pretty weird. So, I was sitting in my room, you can still see this video, it wasn't that long ago. I was sitting in my room, and, uh, Steven, his channel got deleted, right? No one knew why. No one knew why. It just got deleted off the face of the earth. Um, no one knew why. So, then I was, uh, I know about Matt Chewy. Because Steven told me about him one time, and I looked at his videos, and I was like, oh, what is this, plush videos? I don't know what that means. Uh, he was doing Morio show or something, I was like, oh, he's one of those kids. So, I just didn't watch his videos again. I didn't not like him or anything, I just didn't care for his videos that much at the time. Now I understand them, Matt, sorry, but I didn't before. Um, so, I was like, he's one of those kids that loves Mario and crap. I don't like Mario, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, if you hate me, you hate me, but I don't like Mario, alright? Um, so yeah, I was like, oh, he's one of those kids. Then I didn't care about him, ever, ever again. I hated him. I'm kidding. I, God, I need to stop making those stupid jokes. God. Okay. So then he, I, I checked back up on his channel, and he had uploaded, I think I was subscribed to him. So I think in my sub box it popped up, uh, it's Steven's dead, and I was like, ooh, it's Steven, he's talking about it's Steven, because he was friends with Steven, obviously. They they talked on Discord, I was the only one that didn't have Discord at the time, but they talked on Discord to each other and stuff. Um, Frankie, Steven, Matt, and Swiftflix talked on Discord all the time. And I was like, oh, dang. Uh, so, I saw Matt Chewy upload that video, I was like, oh, Steven's dead, Steven's dead, you know, and his little... I'm the kid on Nintendo. I'm the kid on Nintendo. I'm the kid on Nintendo. You know, um. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna try to be friends with this dude. I'm, I, I, I don't think he knows of my existence. I comment on his video. I, oh, he comments on my videos occasionally. Yeah, I, I remember. So he did know about my existence, but we never talked or anything. So I was like, all right, I wanna make this dude like me. You know how I did with Steven. When I gave Steven the shout out, I just if you want to have friends on YouTube, give them shout outs, all right? <laughs> um, if you have a bigger channel than them, give them shout outs, and they'll instantly love you. That's what I did with Steven and Matt. So uh, I made a video, and I I did not care to make this video at all. I didn't see any point in making the video, but I basically copied Matt's video, and I was like, everyone, it's Steven is dead. It's Steven is dead. He has a new channel called Steven Plays. He hasn't uploaded on it, but here's the link, and I sent the wrong link, by the way. Um, and then I'm like, oh, oh yeah, by the way, which was the entire reason of the video, oh yeah, by the way, let's, uh, you should go subscribe to Matt Chewy, because this was his original idea, and that was the only reason I made this video, to give Matt a shout-out. I couldn't have just made a Matt Chewy shout-out video, I had to disguise it in one of my other videos. Um, and, you know, I, I said, oh, by the way, go subscribe to Matt Chewy. I only did that so he could notice me. That's the only reason I made this whole video. I didn't say that, but that's what I was thinking. So I, I made, I, I, I gave him a shout out, and you know he got a few more subscribers. And he's like, "Oh, who are you? From? Who are you from? I'm a king of the Tado. Who are you from?" And he uh, found out. He was like, "Oh, Parker Panda gave me a shout out." And then, um, you know, I think he said on Discord or something. I don't know, but then in his "It's Stephen in a Nutshell" video. Um, you know, he draws all the characters of Frankie and Swift and Matt and all that. And then I saw a little panda, and I was like, dude, he added me in the group! We're friends now! And then I got, I got on, I had Discord, but I didn't understand how it worked, so I never used it. So then I got on Discord, and apparently he sent me a friend request, and then I didn't know anything about Discord. So he invited me to this group with Swift, Frankie, you know, the boys. Swift, Frankie, S Steven, me, and... Matt. So we were the five boys at the time. Um, and now we're the six boys, because Jay. And actually, no, we're the seven boys, because Jay and Noah. Noah's never online, but 
Uh, yeah, Jay and Noah. So, we were the five boys at the time, and I remember when I got into a call with Matt. Me and Matt talked a lot. We talked a lot after that on Discord. We were always talking. I got into a call with Matt, and then Frankie joined. And then Swiftflix joined. And then Jay joined. So it was the five boys on the call. Wait, I forgot Steven. Steven's one of the boys, too. <laughs> um, yeah, wait. Oh, crap. I'm doing math so horribly right now. Okay, yeah, Steven was one of the boys, but he wasn't there at the time because, you know, he was taking his break. But, yeah, Steven, you're one of the boys. Don't think I excluded you on accident. You just weren't there at the time. So it was the five boys, Nicole. Actually, I don't remember. No, Jay wasn't there until later that day. But it was uh, us four, later Jay came in the call, so then it was the five boys. Um, and I was like, oh, Swiftlix is in the call. Um, I didn't say much. I was just, you know, keeping quiet. Swiftlix was there. Frankie was there. I, I talked to Frankie before, but not Swiftlix. Uh, and I was talking to Swiftlix for the first time. I was like, you know, oh, yeah, Swift, you live in Arizona. Because I've watched your videos before. I know you live in Arizona. I, I sounded really nervous because, you know, Swift is awesome. He's an awesome person. If you're watching this video, Swift, you're an awesome person. So I was really nervous to talk to you, um, him. I was really nervous to talk to him. And I was like, yeah, uh, down in Texas, it's really hot, too. Uh, you live in Arizona. We, we know how the southern weather works. So I was trying to relate to Swiftlix, you know? You know, I was trying to get get us to be friends. I, I'm freaking, I'm so sad because I just try to get people to be my friends. <laughs> so, yeah, I was trying to get Swiftlix to be my friend. I was like, oh, yeah, let's let's relate by being southern boys. So I was like, yeah, we, we live in the south, y'all live in the north, y'all know how cold it is, freaking Frank lives in Denver, and Matt lives in Wisconsin, so y'all are north, me and Swift are best friends, because we live in the south, south will rise again, that's a joke, my god, that was a terrible joke, but it was a joke, um, <laughs> that was a bad joke, okay, who's the, oh god, Why does the witch have arms? <laughs> Why does the witch have arms? Look at the screen. You don't have to, but you can. Why does the witch have arms? That's so weird. Bye, idiot. Alright. Um, so yeah, then me and Swift were friends. Alright, there's the story of how I met all the boys. Let's see what the timer is. That had to have taken off like... Oh god, there's one minute left. Alright, so we could just end it now, I guess. Um, you know, maybe I'll talk a little bit more. So let's see. Let's let's do a recap. That's what we're gonna do for the last you know portion of this. So recap. What what all do we talk? About? Oh crap! What all do we talk about in this episode? We talked about. So we started off talking about SpongeBob. And we talked about Nickelodeon. Then we talked about Minecraft cities. Uh, then we talked about the Minecraft lawsuits. Then we talked about Swifties. Then we talked more about Minecraft lawsuits. Then we talked about. Minecraft cities again, and then we talked about, we talked other stuff in between, but, you know, then we talked about how I met Steven, and we talked about how I met all the boys, and now we're talking about the recap, so that's a good episode of the podcast, thank you for watching, um, if you liked the video, like the video, if you did not like the video, like the video anyways, and make sure to subscribe, and go, oh, follow me on Instagram, Hashtag Parker Panda YT, I think. No, it's Parker Jones 1270. I keep forgetting. But yeah, go subscribe to me on Instagram. That doesn't make sense. Go follow me on Instagram. There'll be a link in the description. And make sure to subscribe to all my friends. And leave your Discord in the comments. Um, leave your YouTube channel if you want to shout out in the comments. And all that. So goodbye. Thank you for watching again. I've said that like 12 times. Oh my god, there's the timer. Jesus. I hear it. I hear it. Okay, bye. Is this a terrible practical joke or not? It better be. Wait a second, please. Okay, 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 yes, 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 
Yes! 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 Wait, why does it say... S okay, guys, I'm gonna edit this into the end of the freaking podcast. I just... I, I, I looked at OBS and I thought it wasn't recording the whole time. Um, that was my, that was my, I didn't even know I was recording this. That was my live reaction to know that it was recording the whole time. Okay, I thought it wasn't. That would have sucked. Alright, thank you for watching. Again, uh, shut up. But that was, I said, yes! Yes! Alright, yeah, goodbye.